everybody out there in YouTube land. Jake of the One Man Band is back again. Welcome to Ruby Veil of Darkness, one of probably the most requested games for me to play. It's a fan-made Ruby RPG Maker type game, and I've actually, like, when this game was first, like, announced and teased, it caught my eye. But I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna wait until it fully comes out, and then I just kinda lost track of what it was doing until recently, and I know that it's fully out now, so we're gonna play the game, so... Let's, uh, just start a new game. Uh, before we get started, we need to CREATE a character! Of course we do. Uh, what color represents you? Okay, there's more options. <laughs> Question mark! I don't know! Oh, oh, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, uh, no, that is not me, no. But uh, no, uh, dang it, okay. <laughs> okay, what color best represents you? I'm going to go... Oh, man, it's a it's a cross between green and purple. Green is my favorite color, but purple it's like a duality thing. So, but I think I'm gonna go with green. Okay, is this you? Uh, yeah, sure. What is your name? Uh, Jaden. <laughs> Jaden, get it? Cause I'm green and Jade. <laughs> no, my name is not Jaden. How do I go? Dude, dude, okay, um, we're, we're just gonna name me Jake, because I'm unoriginal, that's why, okay. Here I am, I'm in my bedroom, it's like Pokemans, there's not even any music. I wanna go to bed, I can't go to bed, can I, oh, no, 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 can I turn on the TV? No. Plant, no. Man, there's nothing to do in my room! Oh. Oh, the bathroom! Yes. Let me go to the toilet. No. Can I do anything? Can I interact with anything? I like it when these when these RPG games allow you to, like, interact with everything. Because I think it's funny. Okay. Dad? Are you... Are, are you my dad? Finally decided to come out of your room, eh? Well, I slept in. Sorry, or maybe I shouldn't have. Nope. Uh, I'm the type to sleep in. Uh, don't worry, I'm just joking with you. Anyways, I need you to get some food from the store in town. Watch yourself. People say that there have been some Grim hanging around. Watch out for those pesky Grim now. I would really like it if there was some music. My god. It's it's almost so boring. I'll be careful. Uh, they don't normally come close. <laughs> yeah, but you read about Mountain Glen? Anything could happen. Yeah, Mountain Glen was a long time ago, Dad. Jeez. Freaking... Stuck in the past, my dad. Dad, it's 2017. Wake up! You're not in the 80s no more. Oh, you remember the days when your father taught you how to play the piano. Okay, so we can play the piano! Life skills! That was probably way too loud for me to just shout, but... I mean, if there was one life skill... Well, Dad, why do we need food? We got fish right here. Let's just have some fish for dinner. But anyway, if there was one, like, life skill I could just learn, it would be to play the piano. I actually have a deep respect for the piano, and there's the music! Okay, um, it's time for us to explore everything, because it is an RPG maker game, so there has got to be hidden secrets everywhere. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> we got a pretty big wall around us. A wall and a fence. Path? Path that leads to nowhere, probably. La da 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 So much green, like my hair and eyes, so green. Town in Patch. Okay, so we're on Patch. Hello, old guy. Good morning, young man. On errands for your father. Just grabbing some food. Nice to see such good kids in the town. Take care now. Oh, of course I will, old man. Is this a store? No. Maybe it's a hotel. Okay. Oh, we got a little girl. Are you Yang? You got you got the hairs. Hiya, what you doing? Going to the store. Ah, that's boring. Well, you're boring. You're just walking around in a freaking square rectangle. 
What the heck are you doing? Doing nothing. Who are you? Damn it! What's wrong? I hurt my arm moving wood yesterday. Aches even. <laughs> aches whenever I move it. So that that causes you to just scream out, "Damn it!" in agony. I mean, that, that there, there's a kid right back there. I'm just saying, you shouldn't curse around children. It's you know, it's common courtesy. Hey, Grandma. Have you seen my husband? Isn't he near the biggest house? He is. I'll look there next. Okay. You have you have fun with that, Grandma. Well, hey there. I swear, I can hear Grim on the other side of these walls, but we're safe, right? Yes, of course, yeah, sure. Good, the last thing I need are Grim running around the town. Why? It sounds like it could be fun. Let's see. What is this, the lake that uh, I could have went to? This lake is boring. Can't even fish. There's no treasure chests or nothing. Where the heck is this store? Are you a store? No. Oh, this looks like a store. Just down to your local Walmart where you can get your swords and your shovels. Your strawberries. Hello! Hi! What can I help for you? Uh, just some basic food items, please. That will be 20 Lien! You got food! See you again! Hold on, do we got... Do we got... We got money? Do we got money? Items. Uh, item... Okay, so I guess we don't got any money. So we got no money! Well, I guess we don't got any money no more. We spent it on basic food items. I wonder what's up here. I want to explore, damn it! I don't want to go home. My dad's such a square. Oh, we can explore so much! So I just went into the, the wilderness. Went into the wilderness looking for some things. Okay, so lots of things. Can I sprint? Can I sprint? I can! Why have I not been sprinting this whole time? Woo! Woo! I run so fast. And I run. I run so far away. I just might. I run all night and day. Gotta get away. Can I go down here? No. Okay, fine, I guess I'll go home. Dad, I'm coming home. I got the food. Don't even know what it is, but I got it. I got the food. Dad, I got the food. Good, you got the food. But I need you to go to the lake to for a perimeter check, uh, just to be safe. All right, thanks, stay safe. You know, I was just in town, Dad. Just in town, Dad. Why didn't you just tell me, oh, hey, can you go by the store and then go by the lake to do a perimeter check? I mean, it's not like I got food that was perishable. Or maybe I did. Maybe I got some milk and eggs. I mean, that stuff, you kind of got to get home quick, get in your refrigerator. Okay, so is this the lake that I'm... Oh, okay, this is the lake I'm supposed to go through. There's a man in a black hood. He doesn't seem to be from here. Yo, black hood man. He seems to be talking to himself. And I'm hiding behind some trees. Plenty underground. People move. Wall. Who, what, who was he? What did he want? This doesn't seem to be any grim here. I should tell your, you should tell your father what you saw. Dad, I saw a scary hooded cloaked man. He was scary. Dad. Dad, maybe you should teach me how to use a sword and a gun like you always promise you do, but you never do because you're always sending me to the store to get food. I need to know how to defend myself, Dad. It's scary. It's a scary world, Dad. Well, anything? Uh, there wasn't any Grim, but there was this guy, huh? What are you talking about? Oh, oh. What's, you check on the town. I'll make sure the house is safe. Yes! You, son of mine, you go check on the town. I will secure the house. You, you, you're like the worst dad ever, dad. I swear. Okay, so we're once again going back to town. Oh, okay, it's a little repetitive what I'm seeing. The town is on fire! Jesus Christ. Oh, you need to get out of here, kid. What's going on? Dab Grim! 
That's what. Now run! I called Beacon and the Sending Hunters. Don't you mean Huntsman, old man? He's old. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But I don't think they will make it in time. We need somewhere to hide. Head to my place. What? Oh, yes. Your place is out of town. But what about the town stroke? I will beat the Grim. Heck no. I don't got no training. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll make sure they get there. Oh, please be careful. Save the townspeople. Go, old man. Go. Andale. Riba, riba. Go. Oh. Oh, we got, we got some Grims. Oh, it, it goes, um, it's like Final Fantasy. Oh, the, hey, uh, attack, yeah. Oh, man, these, these are like custom. Oh, so I have a sword, I guess. Okay, these are custom Grim. They're, they're like rats. Oh, why, why are we, why are we scared of rat Grim? Oh, I leveled up. Uh, I'm level three, and I got, they, they got 20 monies on them. I can go buy some more food. Oh, hey, little girl. Little girl! Why is everything on fire? Get to my house! Okay! Don't take that out of context, people. Oh. Oh, what is what is that thing? It's just a grim beast. Just a grim beast. Okay, uh skills. Twin slash, go! Okay, didn't really do anything. Oh. Bang. Attack. Oh, ow, ow, you you hurt me so bad, Grim Beast. Why you do that? Bam! He's dead. Leveled up again. I've gotten stronger. Uh, he had a potion and 70 monies on him. Hey, you. I'd be able to take him if not for my arm. Yeah, sure. You were... You know, stacking wood. Sure you were. With one arm. I sh I'm sure you were. Uh, where's my husband? Go to my house. He's at your house? He left without me? The ruffian! I will beat his ass, I swear. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of grim rodents. Uh, twin pistols, go! Okay, he's dead. So they don't hurt that much, but there is a lot of them, so you gotta watch out. They're like, um, they're like when you fight the giant rats at the beginning of Skyrim, or, um, Oblivion. You know, they're easy fodder, so you get to learn... Oh, I learned cover fire. So I can lay down covering fire! Is anyone down? Okay. It's gonna be one of those ones where I continuously get interrupt. Oh, I missed? I missed how... Why? He was three feet in front of me. But anyway, I get constantly interrupted by random encounters to, to actually do anything. But at least I'm leveling up, so. I wonder how... Oh, yep, yeah, I knew someone would be down here. You! The Grim have never attacked before. Why is this happening? Because they want to kill humanity. That's why. There was just a wall always keeping them out, is all. Ain't you never seen Attack on Titan? Attack on Titan? Oh, no! You hear that? You are no! Nullified! Bam! Okay. We are still victorious, man. We we're just getting all the monies and all of the potions. Oh, another person. The Grim are attacking! Go to my house! I was totally wrong about the whole they won't attack thing. So don't hate me for that. just rinsing through these freaking rat grim. I wonder if there's gonna be more like custom uh, grim creatures. Because that would be really cool. Get, do we get to see grim velociraptors? I would love to see that. I love the, the, the grim velociraptor design that someone made. I'm, I'm not exactly sure who, but I know they made it. Okay, uh, my shop! Uh, it doesn't matter, just go! Okay. Clap, clap, oh, that's also in the game, <laughs> okay, clap, well done, is that you Ozpin, that is Ozpin, how you doing Ozpin, love to see your beautiful face, 
Not only did you evacuate everyone safely, but you were able to fend off the Grimm as well. How much you want to bet this was all just a test, my dear old Ozpinny? You crazy old bastard. Tell me, where did you learn to fight like that? I don't actually know. I've always been able to do this. Okay, so teaching oneself while you can is very dangerous because you never really learn from your mistakes. But it's really the only thing that I can go off of. Uh, so, you know, I taught myself. Without a mentor, very impressive. Well, you see, I watched all those kung fu movies and Star Wars. So, you know, I learned how to fight like the Jedi do. I mean, I got the internet. I could do whatever I want. Uh, oh, and Glinda's there. Uh, we'll, we will do damage control and take out the remaining Grim. Thank you. Do you know who I am? You're Professor Ozpin, the headmaster of Beacon Academy. So you have heard of me. Nice to meet you, by the way. Have you ever thought of becoming a hunter? Huntsman! But, you know, no, I never had the proper training. <laughs> I train myself, remember? That's not proper training. Well, perhaps we can make an exception. Because, you know, you've done that before. Making ex exceptions for things. Welcome to Beacon! Hobo's Own Games presents... Dedicated to Monty Ulm. God rest his soul. Ruby Veil of Darkness. I actually liked it that they put that... A memorial to Monty right there. That was actually really cool. Okay, Ospin's car. We're in a car! He has a car? He's got his own private car! Oh, okay. Your father's words ring in your head. My kid? A huntsman? I couldn't be more proud of you. I won't have anyone to go to the town to get food for me, but, you know. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I gotta help rebuild the town. Now go! Be the best huntsman that ever was! I'll try, Dad. Worried about home. Oh, crap! This is a big car! Deluxe car! I have my best men and women working on helping the town. They will be fine. I suppose you have questions. Oh, uh, where did you come from? Why me? Where are we going? Oh, uh, why me? Why you? You mean for a huntsman? That's simple. But you'll see soon enough. I suppose you have questions. Uh, where did you come from? You, uh, you mean, why would I? The ma the headmaster of Beacon be out doing a simple extermination because he's a badass, that's why? Because he wants to. He doesn't want to stay in the office all day! Paperwork is boring! Well, my status seems to reflect otherwise. I'm still a huntsman at heart. And we just happen to be in Signal, uh, so we were closest. Signal, maybe picking up a little, a little ruby? Maybe picking up a ruby? I'm just I'm just saying. Maybe. Yes, I suppose. Okay, uh, where are we going? Because I'm stupid. We are going to signal. Oh, okay. <laughs> we will drop you off at the hospital. But I'm fine! I, I'm fine. I'm not hurt. I'm just, you know, bleeding profusely. I don't know. Um, you'll spend the night. Uh, then you can board the airship to Beacon with the other students. Oh, so I don't get... <laughs> I don't get special... Special treatment. Okay, so, no, I'm good. Excellent. We shall arrive shortly. Sir, have you... I've just received information. What is it? It's Torchwick. <gasps> Gasp! <laughs> what? Where? Yeah! Woo! Sound of the police! A dust shop, not far from here. Driver, take us to the dust shop. Uh, wait, THE Torchwick? Cause he's a nefarious criminal, everyone knows about him. The very same. Hang on, reports say someone is trying to detain him. Who? A teenage girl. I wonder who that could be. Interesting. We're here. Oh, it's the old man! Where did they go? On the rooftop across the street. Just take my Leon and leave. They even got the broken window. That's cool. I'm going. Uh, so am I. Uh, but, but that's, that's not how it happened in the show. But okay, not all of you are not. No, you stay here. Glinda. Uh, you're right. Come on. Whatever. Sure, I'll save right there. Oh, they got FMV. They got actual footage in the game. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. End of the line, 
Alrighty, blow Ruby up. Like you're supposed to. Do it! Do it! And then Glinda saves her ass. Just, just as a shield. And I'm here too! <laughs> this must be the girl they mentioned. <laughs> Come here often. <laughs> You're not shipping me with Ruby, okay? You're not. I will make sure it does not happen. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Oh, she look mad. But I won't let him get away. Brace yourselves. It's attacking. You mean like the airship? What? Oh, they even got the freaking airship in there. That is awesome. Why can't uh, skills manipulate? Wait, who am I? Am I Glinda? Yeah, attack. Who am I now? Uh, attack, attack. I jump in the air and brah! Oh, this is so much to freaking. This is so much to keep drag of. It's like I, I barely even know what to do. Sni sniper shot, go. Uh, twin pistols, go. Okay, uh, skills. Let's do that again. Get rid of that armor. Skills. Sight strike. Do it. Uh, I got dust. I do not got dust. Do I got semblance? Charge. Okay, so I charge. Eh. I forget, Glinda doesn't have attack. Or maybe she doesn't have attack because she is, uh, in the back, maybe? This is all just very much, this is a lot to take in, a lot to keep track of, and I'm trying to also be uh, entertaining to, for you guys, so. Uh, we're just gonna keep attacking this thing and see what works best. I mean, are, are we doing good on health? Maybe. Uh, let's, let's do some restoration. Oh, we got lots of health from there. Okay, uh, Twin Slash. That again. Side Strike. It's like, I barely have enough time to, like, figure out, like, what, like, does what. Like, I, I know that gets rid of defense, but, like, how long does it last? It's like, you don't got time to read all that! You gotta keep shooting them! Uh... Cover fire, do that again. Okay, it's close, it's close to being dead. Manipulate, do it, kill it. Oh, yeah, we did it! Okay, Ruby leveled up. T she's level four. I've grown again! Hey, what's this? It is 200 bucks for me! And then it just flies away. So you're a huntress. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then she lands herself in jail. Ospin drops you off at the hotel and took the girl away. You decided to rest. The next day, in the airship to Beacon! We're just standing there! But I think that is where we're gonna have to end Twin pistol katanas! That's our weapons! Anyway, so we're gonna have to end this episode here, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed the first step into Ruby Veil of Darkness. This game looks like it's just gonna be fun just running around doing stuff, doing crazy stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and favor if you did. If you did, subscribe if you feel inclined to. Leave a comment down below on pretty much anything if you want to leave a comment. And until next time, my friends, I want you to be a good person, tip your waitresses, keep moving forward, and I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you then. Yay!